The story of a Welsh pony. Hi, Milton. Hey, Sarah. Look who's out of stall rest. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I wonder when I'm going to be able to ride him. I could just eat him up. Well, you can ride him today if you want to. He hasn't been ridden in forever, and he needs a small rider. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to go get my tack. I'll be right back. I'll go put him in the wash stall for you. Come on, Pink. Let's go to the wash stall. Here you go. I put Pink in the mag in the wash stall for you. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <coughs> uh, cute. Just because I am a 13 hand Welsh pony does not mean that I am cute. I mean, do you see these muscles? Do you know how high I could jump with these if you just gave me a chance? I mean, seriously, I get all the ladies with these. Two minutes later. Oh, I see you already got pink pretty much almost tacked up. Now you just have to put on his polar wraps and his bridle. Well, I am going to get Flicker ready because I'm going to ride her today because she hasn't been ridden in a while, so... Yeah, I'll see you in the ring. Okay, cool. Hi, Lily. Oh, hey, Sarah. Looking good. Thank you. Okay, well, how about for a warm-up? You start by following me and Flicka around, and then maybe we'll go over some ground poles and cavalettis. Okay. Okay, come on, Flicka. Ugh, he's not moving. <sighs> Okay, so here's the thing about with us ponies. Our riders think that we're stubborn because we're ponies, so they always kick us and everything. Come on, you stupid pony. <sighs> like, I'm seriously hurt from this. And our bridles never fit, hence mine. I mean, do you see the stuff hanging in front of my face? It just doesn't work out. So you wonder why us ponies tend to do something a little like this. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Sit up! Tighten your thighs! Don't fall off! He won't slow down! Fine, I'll try it. I'm slipping! Ah! Somebody didn't tighten their girth. That's an annoying sound and feeling. Hmm. Let's do some aerial dressage. Ugh. Are you okay? Ooh. Hmm. What to do around here? Hey, Blue. <laughs> hey, Pinky. What's up? Ah, uh, nothing. Just hanging out. <gasps> Brookside Pink Magnum, you're a bad pony. No, no, no. Uh, what do you think I am to you, a dog? No offense. Uh, offense taken, thank you very much. After their warm-up, they practice something new. Okay, Sarah, you're going to follow me with Brookside over this little ground pole to just get him warmed up. Then we'll work on our jumping over to the Cavaletti. Oh, follow the leader again. You know, Flicka, I don't always love seeing your butt. Do you want to see my hooves? Instead, I just got new shoes on. Uh, I'll pass. <gasps> what in the world is that? Come on, Pink. It's just a freaking ground pole. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do at one of these. Just walk over it, you stupid pony. Um, <sighs> Okay, are you ready to raise the jump? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm not going to have you follow me anymore. Instead, I'm just going to be here to raise the jump for you. Thank God that's over. 
but I will be here to instruct you and be here if you need any help. <laughs> okay, Pinky, we can do this. Okay, um, this is small. I'm gonna walk over it. Ugh. Okay, let's do this again. Try picking up a canter. He might jump the jump a little easier if he has to motivate it. Okay, we'll try it. Hmm, only time will tell. I might jump it, I might not. Kinda depends. And no. Come on, we have to do this. Hmm. Okay, maybe this time I'll do some aerial dressage over the jump. Cross that off my bucket list. Uh, aerial dressage! Okay, I raised the jump for you just a little bit. See how he jumps that. Don't be afraid. Don't lose confidence. Okay, I guess. Uh, come, come on. on. Okay, okay, come on. Ready? I can do this. Uh. Ah! Ugh, stupid rider. I jumped that perfectly. It was perfect. And you messed it up by falling off. Uh, uh, I didn't even do anything this time. It's just all you. You are horrible. I'm walking away now. I'm ready to be untacked. Maybe we should put you on an easier horse next time. Yeah, think. Two days later, after all my aerial dressage movements, I was turned into a lead light pony for Lily's little sister, Mary Beth. Yay! Pony! It only lasted about 30 minutes. Okay, Mary Beth, we are going to take Pinky around the blue bucket. So you're going to help me by squeezing your leg on him to tell him which direction to go, but I'll control his head. Okay, let's go to the blue bucket. <gasps> a bucket? Did you just say a bucket? Come on. <gasps> there it is. Well, I guess Pinky doesn't like buckets that are blue. Well, that's something nice to know. <gasps> Mary Beth! <laughs> After all of that, I was turned into a games pony. Practice didn't go so well. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. We have to make the crap into the bucket. <gasps> come on, turn around. We have to get into the bucket. No, we have to run away from the bucket. No! Yes! are scary. How could you? I was only trying to save you from the bucket. Ugh. So after all that, Lily had no choice but to ride me. And it turns out we're actually perfect for each other. She's the best rider ever. I mean, look at what we can do. I knew I had potential. She even rides me just in my halter so that the bridle's not big and there's no disgusting bits in my mouth or anything. But the only problem is that she's a little top heavy, but we work through it and we're a great team.